sit there looking like an idiot trying to figure out the best thing to say. These are the most important questions you need to ask at an interview. You want to know everything that you can possibly learn about that company. I don't know, maybe it's overkill, but it works for me. and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about tips for preparing for a job interview. I actually did have a job interview yesterday. I have not heard back on whether or not I got that position, but I just thought that this would be a really good time for me to sit down and walk you guys through exactly how I prepare for job interviews, as well as give you guys some tips on how to reduce job interview anxiety because let's be honest, I get really, really anxious for job interviews. So a little background, I actually think that I have gotten every single job that I have interviewed for, which is kind of insane. Um, I, there was one job that I didn't get. I was gonna work in the Grand Canyon for a summer as a maid and I didn't get that job and I still to this day do not know why. I was not qualified to be a maid at the Grand Canyon, but whatever, they didn't want me. So I went and worked in the Smoky Mountains at an uh, arcade instead. Long story, <laughs> maybe I'll get into that someday. But yeah, that is the only job I have not gotten that I have interviewed for. Obviously I do not expect this streak to continue, but I like to think that I am pretty good at preparing for job interviews and doing a good job at them. My first tip is to make sure that you do your research on the company. You want to know everything that you can possibly learn about that company before you go into that job interview because you wanna be able to tie what they do to what you know how to do already. Go to their website, go to their Instagram, go to their LinkedIn, literally look everywhere at anything that you can learn. Make sure to really focus on what their mission is, any kind of values they have. If they have a mission statement, maybe try to memorize that and throw that in somewhere during your interview. If you know who is interviewing you, make sure to go and figure out as much information as you can about them. That way you can just kind of maybe like be a little more personal about them. If maybe you might have something in common, obviously don't be like, hey, I stalked you and I see that we have this in common. Just maybe throw a little something in there just to make a little small talk. Does that sound kind of conniving and manipulative? I don't know, but it works, so go stalk them. Then the next thing is to go through the job description of the job that you applied for and highlight every single thing that you already have experience with or know how to do. Basically, you're matching up your resume with the job description, which you should have already done as you were creating your resume to apply for that job. If you guys need tips on creating your resumes as well, I like to think I'm pretty good at creating resumes, but that would be one thing that you should have already done during that first step before you got the interview. But if you haven't already, make sure you go through that job description and highlight every single thing that you already know how to do, which then you are going to go and look up commonly asked questions for your industry or just commonly asked questions in general for an interview. I'm gonna go through some of the ones that I usually like to prepare beforehand and there will actually be a Google Doc or some kind of document linked down below that is gonna have a list of all of these questions as well as some other information that I like to collect beforehand. So the first thing you're gonna prepare for is tell me about yourself. Every single interview ever is probably gonna have somebody just be like, tell me about yourself. And then you're gonna have to go on a spiel. Do not tell them your life story. They don't need to know your life story. They just want to know generally, who are you as a person? And most importantly, why are you qualified for this role? So by looking at your resume and the job description, you want to, when you answer the question, tell me about yourself, be able to say, everything that you already know how to do on that job description and how your job history relates to that. Also, you wanna prepare for the question, why do you wanna work with us? Have something prepared, even if like the only reason you're really applying for the job is because it pays a little bit better. Have some kind of reasoning behind it. Usually job growth or personal development, something along those lines where I just feel like I can't grow on my current role and I feel like this would be a really good growing option opportunity for me is a really good thing to say because let's be honest, usually if there is some kind of better compensation at a job, that also probably means there's gonna be more responsibilities 
and it's going to be a growing opportunity for you. So it's definitely not a lie and I think most of us do want to kind of grow in our careers. So it's a good thing to say. And then why do you want to leave your current job? Do not say that your job sucks. Never say anything negative about the current job that you have. I don't care if you have the worst boss in the entire world. I don't care if it's the most toxic work environment ever. Try to stay positive when you're answering all of these questions. So instead of focusing on the crappy environment that you're coming from, maybe highlight some reasons that you want to switch to that particular company. That would be a great time to throw in some of their values, some of their purpose statements and that kind of thing. You know, maybe they're really community focused and you highlight I wanna work for something that's a little bit more community focused. And then I will also have just some other general questions linked in that document down in the description. You will be able to fill out that document. So just come up with good positive answers that highlight your experience for all of those questions. And also make sure that you're looking up industry specific questions as well. Obviously all industries have a little bit different things that come up in interviews. If it's more technical, make sure you're preparing for some of those more technical questions. If it's more customer service based, then maybe you need to come up with some questions and answers that have to do with customer relations and that kind of thing. Just make sure that you're being really specific with those questions. And the more questions that you can come up with answers for before the interview, the more prepared you're going to be. Because even if they don't ask that specific question, they're probably gonna ask questions that are related to that. And by answering these beforehand, you're gonna feel more prepared and you're gonna have answers for them because you prepared already and you know the best thing to say and the best way to express how you're gonna be a good fit for that role. And honestly, if you're really feeling nervous for the job interview, I would highly recommend going through that list of questions and actually saying the answers out loud, either to a mirror or if you're comfortable with another person, having them ask you questions as if it's like a mock interview. That really, really helps me for all of the jobs that I've really, really wanted that I've gone after. I have basically had that document with my questions and answers on it just in front of me for like the week leading up to the interview and I'm just going over it over and over again, almost like I'm preparing for a test or something. I don't know, maybe it's overkill, but it works for me and it keeps my anxiety a little bit more at bay. So do what, do what works for you. And then my last thing that is kind of prep work for the interview is make a list of questions to ask them. This is like game changer with interviews. Maybe this is common knowledge, but never go to an interview without preparing a list of questions to ask them. Because the reality is they're not just interviewing you, you are also interviewing them. You are finding out if you actually wanna work at this job, kind of turns it on them so that then they have to answer some questions as well, which makes it a little bit more conversational and just, it feels more natural that way to me. So two questions that I'm gonna tell you guys that you need to ask them. Obviously ask them about company culture, ask them about like what does a typical day look like, ask them any kind of clarification questions you need on what they do, ask them all of those questions. But then when you're all done asking those questions, I want you to ask them. The first thing is what does the ideal candidate for this role look like? That's it. What does the ideal candidate for this role look like? Have them talk about it and then also, you know, be listening and figuring out, am I that person? Do I think I want to be that person? If not, maybe I don't want this job at all. And then once they've answered that question, you're going to ask them, okay, are there any concerns you have about me being able to fill that role? And can I address those right now? Or some kind of wording like that, where basically you're having them tell you these are the concerns that I have and then you get to address those concerns. So love this question. I used this yesterday at my interview and the two people that were interviewed me literally looked at each other and they're like, that's a really good question. It just gives you a chance to address any concerns that they might have, anything that came up during the interview, any holes in your experience that maybe you can speak to and say, yes, I can understand why that's a concern of yours but here's why I think it shouldn't be a concern of yours. Seriously, it's the best. It is absolutely the best question. Love it, I love it so much. And then also if you don't end up getting the job, then whatever they said, maybe that can kind of give you some guidance as to, okay, if I apply for a role like this in the future, 
this is what I need to work on. Could you actually have that feedback from them as to why you didn't get hired? Which I always think is great. I just wish that anytime people didn't get hired for jobs, people would just say, this is why you didn't get hired for the job, work on this. I just, uh, constructive criticism, it's great. And then also I always like to ask, what are the next steps in the interview process just at the end of that? Usually they'll tell you kind of what's coming next anyway, but it's always just nice to know, you know, what's the timeline? Is there gonna be a second interview? And that kind of thing. So always make sure you ask that too. And then again, in the description, that document will have most of the questions that I like to ask that are not really industry specific. Okay, so now I just wanna go into some tips as to how to reduce interview anxiety because I know interview anxiety is literally the worst and I get it so bad. But here are my tips. First of all, make sure you wear deodorant, which obviously that's obvious, but interviewing really makes me sweat because I get nervous and I get really sweaty. So make sure you wear deodorant and you wear dark colors or colors that aren't gonna show sweat. So don't wear like gray. Don't, don't wear gray to an interview. I like to wear a blazer just cause it keeps my armpits completely out of the picture and I don't have to worry about people seeing my sweat stain. So just keep that in mind. I, that might be a silly thing, but you know, you don't wanna feel awkward and sweaty. You're gonna feel awkward and sweaty, but you don't want people to tell, no, you're sweating. So you know and then i always just like to tell myself that i am also interviewing them i mentioned that before but just i like to remind myself that it's not just them judging me i'm also going in and judging them i also maybe i don't want that job you know i'm there to assess whether or not i do want the job so that kind of takes a little bit of the pressure off of me needing to go in and perform and makes it a little bit more about me figuring out if i am a good fit for the role and if they're a good fit for me so take some of the pressure off just remind yourself it's not just about you they're not just judging you you also get to judge them and then another thing is if you're super nervous the interview for the role that i had before my current role i was so nervous that when i started talking my voice was shaking uh so i just was kind of like hey like i'm sorry my voice is shaking right now because i'm really nervous because i really really want this job and just kind of be open about that be honest about it they were really nice they were like yeah that's totally fine that you're nervous and that really took the pressure off and then my voice stopped shaking and i stopped feeling like i was gonna throw up so just acknowledge it it's okay to be nervous if you're nervous that just means that you're excited about the position so just acknowledge it to the people interviewing you it'll be okay Believe me, everyone has been nervous for a job interview before. And then right before you go in, just remind yourself, I prepared for this, I can do this, I did everything that I am capable of doing, and now it's just about whether or not I am the right fit for this role. And if you're not the right fit, that's okay. It's okay. You don't want to get hired for a job you're not a good fit for anyway, so just know that you've done the prep work if you've done all of these things then there's nothing more that you can do so just take a deep breath go in and just do your best and that's all you can do those are my tips for preparing for a job interview i'm gonna go check to see if i have an email saying that i got that job that would have been a perfect ending to the video but i don't have an email yet so we will see i don't know Honestly, I'm not gonna be super, super upset if I don't get the job or if I do, I'm pretty happy in my current role and everything going on in my life. But if I get the job, cool. That is gonna be the end of this video. I hope that this was helpful. Again, if you guys are interested in some resume tips or that kind of thing, go ahead, comment down below and let me know that. And let's see, comment down below. Comment down below your dream job. If you could do anything in the entire world, let me know if i could do anything in the entire world i honestly don't know because i'm kind of having a little bit of a quarter life crisis right now but if you guys do know uh let me know thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one there's a dog outside attacking a goose